Hey guys, it's Chris from the BC Gaming teaching you guys how to make a 1.2.5 bucket micro server that is port forwarded and there's no need of Hamachi. So if you guys wanted to know how to make a Hamachi server then there's a channel well there's a video on my channel on how to make a Hamachi server. So then you guys can just go check that out if you don't want to make a bot forwarded server. But first, the reason for this video is because people didn't know how to make uh, a bucket server because of the port forwarding, and hopefully you guys can understand this more in this remake of the, that video. Um, there will be a little bit more information on the port forwarding part because most that was the main reason of when people didn't know how to make the server, and people couldn't pass that point, so then they didn't know how to make the Minecraft server. So the first thing you guys are going to do is to make a new folder. Um, call it whatever you like, just something that indicates that it's your Minecraft server. So we can just name it MC server. Um, and then in the description below, there's going to be a site that says bucket.org. You guys are going to double click that, and you should be at the bucket homepage, which should look something like this. Um, and you go to download craft bucket. So in the recommended builds, you guys are going to click the top link here, and you guys are just going to click download. So while that's download, after I accept it, while that's download, you guys are going to go back to your folder and create a new text document. Right click new and new text document. Um, so. When you double click and are inside the text document, what you're going to type in is a Java code. And to know what kind of Java code you need to paste in, you need to know what kind of bit computer you have. To see this, you're going to go start, control panel, and change this. Instead of category, you're going to change it into large icons or small icons, whatever you want. You guys are going to try to find something that says system. Going to click that, and it should say what kind of system type you have. So I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'll be getting a 64-bit code. So these codes will be in the description. But since I have a Java 7, I could use Java 7 code. Um, this will be in the description, so you guys can just copy and paste, and not pause the video. Copy. So I'll copy that, and you're going to paste it into the new text document you created. So let's do that. After that, you guys are going to click File, Save As. Make sure it's Save As, not Save. And you guys are going to save it as a start.bat. And to do that, you guys are going to go Save As Type, Text Document, All Files, and rename it to Start.bat. So B A T. Save it. You can now exit it. And in your server folder, it should appear, and that means you can have you can delete the text document now. So after that's done, your craft bucket might be downloaded or should be finished downloading. You guys are just gonna drag that in. And before we go to do anything else, you guys have to do this. It's important. You guys have to go to organize, folder and search options, view. And where it says height extensions for no file types, by default this will be checked. But you guys are what I want you guys to do is to uncheck it. So uncheck that, apply, and press OK. And what that does, it shows the extensions of the files in the the files on your computer. So if it was unchecked, it will just say start, and then you'll hide the dot back part. So if you uncheck it, it will just show it automatically, and uh, it's easier so you know what kind of type it is. So what you're going to do now is rename the craft bucket on jar just to craft bucket. Oops, craft bucket. And then to generate all the files for your server, you guys are going to double click start dot back. This will just load all the no, all the files in for your server. You can exit that, and it should look something like this. Um, in the plugins folder, there's going to be empty. But me and my friend will just teach you guys 
um, how to put plugins in and what kind of plugins that you should. So they'll be coming in the future. Your world, your band players, um, and server properties, most important. Um, double click that. Um, and if it's your first time, you guys are going to right click and open it open. And it will say open with, and then you guys are going to click open with notepad. So, once you've done that in your server properties, where it says online mode, if you guys have a cracked server or you want your server to be cracked, you guys are going to change this to false. False. Uh, you can exit that for now, and that should be all it. Now, the folder where help gets loosed, the hard part. Um, the port forwarding part. So, in my previous video, this is what I'm going to be remaking this video for. So you guys have to pay close attention on what you have to do. In your start menu, you guys have got to type in the search bar CMD. This is will show the command prompt. And in the command prompt, you guys are going to type in ipconfig, ipconfig, press enter. You guys should find something called the default gateway. Um, in your internet browser, you guys are going to type that in the search bar which will take you to your modem home screen um, so the port forwarding part uh, basically port forwarding is when you have to add a port into your modem so your players can basically um, play on your server but if there is something that says you have to log in um, onto your modem by default it will be admin for username and the password would be password or admin. Um, if that doesn't work, tell your administrator of the computer and you should be fine. Um, so after that, um, you guys are going to try and find something that's similar to this. So something that says port forwarding. Forwarding a port. Um, forwarding a port. Port forwarding. Port forward. Something that has to indicate about port forwarding. You guys have to try and search out around your modem. Um, so I've I took a long time doing this, but I finally found it online. Um, so let me just do this. Um, so basically, when you click that port forwarding tab, you guys are going to try and um, see this kind of box thing. So. Let me just do this quickly if it ever loads. Um, Minecraft uh, two. Okay. Oh, next. Okay, you guys should find something similar to this because every modem has to have these. Um, you find these boxes, and the title would say, um, would say start port, end port, protocol, something like that. Um, so the port for Minecraft is 25565. So you're going to type that in, 25565, 25565. So all you have to do is just add these numbers into your modem, and then you're going to click apply. But just, so for example, it could be 25565 for the start port. And 25565. 65 for your end port. Um, that would be all right. So you guys are going to click apply. Uh, Minecraft server two words. Yeah. Okay. So the port forwarding part should be done by now. If you guys couldn't find this helpful in a way um, that you couldn't port forward, then you guys should. Try and find a video to help you port forward if you guys didn't find this any helpful or something. Um, you guys need to try and port forward your port in order for you guys to continue on this tutorial. Because after the port forwarding part, things start to get easy or extremely easy. You can now exit your or minimize your internet browser and go back into your Minecraft folder. And 
again go back to your server properties in your server properties where it says the server IP you guys are going to type in your IP version 4 address so 10.0.0.3 whatever 3 and that should be done you guys can just fiddle around with the settings um, and so or to your likings really you can save that and exit your i your command prompt. You don't need that anymore. So that's how you make a Minecraft server. You can start it up with the start.bat by double clicking it. And the first time it loads, it should load uh, the folder. So it should load the world. It will create the world, the world you spawn in, um, the end and the nether. So to demonstrate that this works on and you can join your server, I'll just log into Minecraft really quickly. Right. So in your Minecraft server, when you click the multiplayer tab, um, uh, you guys can either connect with your IP version 4 address, so 10.0.0.0.3. And click join server. That should work, um, of course, but it won't. It's not letting me join at the moment because it's still loading. Now it's finished. It should say that you've logged into your server, and there should be no errors. So log in in your server right now. So it generates a new world, and so you and your friends can basically play. And I'll show you guys how to install plugins in maybe our next tutorial. But your friends can't be able to join your server with the IP version 4. So what you need is an external IP. And the and you can find the external IP by opening up your internet browser and click the link in the description that says what is my IP.com and the IP you see here is the IP you can join the server with or your um, all your friends, your friends have to join with this IP. So you've got to copy that, exit of your dig, and yeah, you can either join with IP version 4 or join with this IP. So it should work, yes, it does. And the first time you join the server, you guys wouldn't be able to destroy blocks. Now, the way you could fix that is go into your command prompt. Of your server, the start.bat, type in op and then your username. And it should say in, in game, say you are now op and you'll be able to use all the commands, um, all the commands and like admin basically, the admin um, permissions. So if you guys found this tutorial very helpful, um, give it a like. Uh, favorites and a rating basically and maybe a subscribe if you want so this is how you make a 1.2.5 bucket server that is poor forwarded and has no amachi this is Chris from BC Gaming signing out I'll see you guys in the next tutorial hopefully it will be a plugin tutorial okay see ya peace guys